Okay, 6.3. Solving proportions using cross products. Okay. On your homework tonight, you're going to have to tell whether the ratios form a proportion. Okay, tell whether the ratios form a proportion. So how do you think we can go about um, deciding if ratios form a proportion? How do you what? I said, how do you think we can go about figuring out if ratios form a proportion? What does that mean? Simplify them? You want to simplify what? Pardon. These are equal, so that would include. Um, okay. So here's the deal. We're gonna take kind of what both of you said and combine them. Okay. Okay. So if we set these proportions equal to each other, if I take nine over fifty-one and set it equal to six over thirty-four, I can then see if the proportions are equal. What? Yeah, we're going to do by cross multiplying. Or you divide three. Okay, you can do that. There's no missing here. We're literally just cross multiplying. So I'm going to say nine times, yes. And you have to show me this work. Do you see what I'm writing on the board right now? I want it shown. What's nine times 34? 306. And what is 6 times 51? 306. So are those proportions? Oh. Yes. yes. That's how we're solving for proportions. Oh, okay. That's literally it. So as long as it comes out the same number, it's right. Yep, that's why there's an equal sign in between them. Okay? How would I set up solving the proportions for 12 20ths and 32 50ths? We make 12 20ths equal to 32 50ths. Okay, so I set. I set the fractions equal to each other. Someone besides Carter, tell me what the next step is. Okay, E1. Okay, so what is, I have to show that I'm doing it. What is 12 <laughs> times 50? 600. And what is 20 times 32? 640. So are those proportions, um, are those ratios, do they form a proportion? No. No. Can you, can you, are, are you ready to next step? Do you say make them equal or make them equal? Nope, they just want to know if they form proportions. Okay. So yes, they do or no, they don't. If they are not equal, <laughs> they are not proportional. Stop. Okay, if they are not equal, they are not proportional. That's all you're setting up. Now. Let's take it into word problem form. Okay, human hair grows about 0.7 centimeters in two weeks. How long does hair take to grow 14 centimeters? How long does that take to grow the water black? I was gonna say the same thing. I mean, like, like, like for a white person, person going back like, in like two a days. Days. This thing takes three months. My hair takes three like weeks to go back. My hair takes years. Okay. Years. okay. <laughs> well, in this problem, I don't know what they're talking about, but it says. <laughs> hey. Hey. Focus. Focus. Okay. So it says human hair grows about 0.7 centimeters in two weeks. How long does hair take to grow in 14 to grow 14 centimeters? What do I need to do? 0 0.7 okay. over 2 is x weeks. over 14 or h over 14. Okay. Wow. Now what do I do? And then you cross multiply. Okay, and I'm going to show that work. What is 14 times 0.7? 9.8. 9.8. What is 9.8 divided by 2? Oh, I'm going to Oh, wow. Can that be divided? Can that be What does, what does 9.8 divided by 2 equal? We got to have it out. Oh. Okay, now I need you guys to use some common sense here. Did we set these proportions up correctly? Oh, you said 9.8. I wouldn't have that. Did we set?
set these proportions up correctly, would it make sense that it takes two weeks for hair to grow less than one centimeter, 0.7, but it only takes four, almost five weeks for it to grow 14 centimeters? I don't know. No. No, no. no that doesn't make sense, right? In two weeks, it grows less than one centimeter, but in five weeks, it grows 14. You just tell that hair, do you? So what did we do wrong with our proportion? You gave it too much slope. We set it up wrong. So Whoa. What? Whoa. I'm in, Whoa. What are the extra I'm in moisturizing. Guys, nice. stop. I'm in stop. <laughs> stop. Focus. Get past the problem that is about hair and get to the math part. Um, what did we do wrong? X should be on the bottom because 14 goes with your hair length. 0.7 is your hair length. So I should set it up this way. So you end up getting 0.7x equals 28. What is... I'll wait. I'll wait on you. What, Jacob? So... Because 14 was mentioned last, and there's no other thing, but does that mean it's automatically going to the top? No, it means that it has to go with what it corresponds with in the other one. Uh, so 0.7 centimeters, 14 centimeters, they have to be across from each other. Uh, okay. What? Yeah, what is that? 40. So 40. Does that make more sense that it would take 40 weeks for your hair to grow 14 inches or 14 centimeters? Yes. Because it grows less than one centimeter every two weeks. Okay? So sometimes we need to use some common sense to see if we're doing things right. Now, who would like to come up and solve the proportion of 18 over 42 equals 3 over T? Okay, Jacob, you come. Josh, you come work on the next one. Okay, I might need a little help. Okay, come work on the next one. Bring calculator if you need it. Um, can I just do Kate, come do the third one. And CJ, come do the last one. Vibration. You got this. Yeah, you can. Come on. I'll help you. Let's do it. Come on. I, you are super smart. Okay. Let's go. No. I'm yeah, come on. Come on. Get out there. CJ, come on. Do the third one. Oh, he did. You got this. You got this. Come on, you got this. Josh, do the second one. Grab marker. What's your first step, CJ? You got this. Yes, beautiful. Do it. I don't care if you're making fun of me. You're going to remember how to do this. Good. Good. Now fix it. So what is 0.4 times C? Oh, that was close. Did you calculate it? I got one. I need some milk, bro. What was it? Why did you just erase it? Why did you erase it? Hey. Ah, this is Why did he erase it? it Your CP over what P? Oh, I was <laughs> equals 10 over 45. Okay, Okay, okay Jacob got T is 7. Jacob so, is correct. You, you could have just got 18 divided by 6. You can reduce first if you want to. But you don't have to reduce. Right, the right is third. Point four Z equals. You do know. Oh, you're doing fine. Point four Z equals. You have a Z there. And then the equal sign. Six times eighteen. If someone search up seven, okay, so. Kate got 42 for B. 17 divided by 10. Kate is correct on that. 17 divided by 10. What is 17 divided by 10? 71. Oh! Okay, good. Now, divide that by 0.4. Awesome. 71 is correct. Actually, it's not. Good job. What is 16 times 45? 16 times 45. It's not 7 It's 720. It's 720. Oh. 20. 70. Yeah. Divided by 70. Beautiful. And then CJ got 270, and he is correct. You 
You guys rock. You are more than capable of doing that. No, you don't. Okay. That's what your homework's over tonight. I like yesterday. No, that one's boring.